guys, day two. Uh, Kingfish Mayhem today, not the Pro Series, the open event. Weather's still pretty rough. Uh, as the estate prediction, they did catch some big fish, but a few fish. Hopefully they the front being through, we can get a little better bite going today. We are not running 100 miles today. Uh, we're gonna kind of stay close. We're gonna enjoy the day. I got, I got uh, my normal crew with me, Billy. I got Jamie, good friend of ours who just met this weekend. Of course, Randall and, and, and Pete. Uh, these guys fish on another boat, rock bottom. We all kind of pulled pulled together today to put together a good crew. We're gonna go out and uh, hopefully catch some fish. But the big, biggest thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna put smiles on everybody's face and have a big time. Uh, these ships generally hold bait, so we wanted to stop, look and see if there's any bait on it right quick. Just kind of take a peek, it's on the way where we're going. I got them. I got them. I did get a full house. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I am. It got color. It got color on it. That's the cave. That's the cave. Get it. Take it straight up. What are you doing? Ain't coming. organization down here called Operation Outdoor Freedom and uh, what they do is they take uh, veterans who have service-connected uh, injuries or combat related wounds, Purple Heart recipients, uh, and they take them out in the field and they, uh, they, they have a strong belief that uh, healing happens in the outdoors with the camaraderie of, of being a sportsman. They do hunting trips, fishing trips, uh, they do kayaking, canoeing trips as well uh, and they, they have a lot of partners throughout the state and meet mayhem happens to be one of them and uh, occasionally when they come to, to town different locations they'll take a couple of veterans out pre-fish and catch bait network a little bit so how does it feel for you to be out here and be a part of this day oh this is great it's stress relief 100 percent stress relief and the camaraderie and these guys, there's no filters out here. You can just be a, be a crazy fool and, and have fun, and that's what it's all about. Nah, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good, homie. All right, take it right here. We'll get him in there. Hold it Give him a picture, Cap. That can look big. Look bigger. Load him up. Hold them up, Pete. I'm just here for your entertainment. Uh, we made a little run offshore here to some ledges out here, a little deeper water, trying to find some cleaner water. Uh, kind of changed zip code all together and just tried to locate some bigger fish. You know, we found some small fish. Now we're looking for a little something bigger to weigh. Blue runner. A little blue runner. More fish, Captain. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's trying to fry the fish, guys. Don't put 20 in there because it ain't his fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, if it was his money, it'd be a five. That's been a slow bite, huh? Yeah, that's yeah, been a very slow. That's a tough weekend. Look at that. Put it right there. That way they can see the money. Tighten that drag up just a little bit. <laughs> Listen, man, you got around 20, man. Got <laughs> real fast. Coming right to the boat. Coming right to the boat. He's hooked good. There you go, see what I'm saying? 
Make it go real fast as you can. Get your feet in that line. Okay? Make sure it feels the same at all times. Okay. Whatever direction you're pointing the rod, that's where the fish is going. No, 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 you're good. No, it's been quiet. It's blew up all of a sudden, huh? Getting on good? Yeah. I, I, you I, you oh, yeah, I feel his weight. Yeah. Wait. Whatever you gotta do. Get his head, it's gonna feel like it's gonna get heavy. He's gonna get hard to catch, you see what I'm saying? Keep right here, Pete. Neutral, neutral. Neutral. Okay, yeah, let him run. Let him run. Let him run. Decent run, like it might be a decent fish. Different fish act different when they bite. They go back to the rig, it's usually not good. Yeah, you gotta make sure you gain line when you go down. Come on. Hook pull. Yeah, it's just part of kingfish. He's just hooked up by a soft hook on him. You know, they get a little bit of pressure, they tear in the skin pretty easy. That was definitely a king. He went the right direction. You can tell when it's king if you see on GPS, straight line, going to the sun. Yep. They like to run straight. They go straight lines, run towards the sun usually. They usually hit towards the sun. Deeper water typically is what they like to do. Right, to typically happens with the fish when they when they hit. They scream out a lot of line. That's why you don't have a lot of drag on it. And it's like a sprinter. You know, a sprinter goes out, runs 100 yards fast, and he's out of breath. A marathon runner takes off, runs a long ways. Kingfish is speeding out. He runs out of gas quick. He's on the surface, you try to run up there, follow him up there with light tackle, and you get him in the gap while he's on top. You try to be real quick about it. The line's just the indicator for you. Just the indicator to tell you where the fish is at. It takes a lot of finesse to get a clam it takes, it takes finesse, it takes whole teamwork. Driver of the boat, the angler, the guy on the gaff. It's it's a everybody on the boat has a job. And that's that's what we do on it, you know. And it's just very, very simple to lose them, very very complicated to get them sometimes. Well, we made a power move up here on the northwest end of the grounds here. Uh, as you can see, we got some company with us. Uh, we didn't come up with what we needed. We got a couple fish. We're going to make the way in. It's going to peel out right now. But like I said, it's, uh, it's, a, it's not too bad out here. Pretty long run out here, you know, a little over 100 miles, but we got to go. You ought to be able to get it now. Get him now. Get him. Is that two, three? That's it. Roger that, boat two, three. We're in. Yeah, I got two, three right here. Inside right now. Five o'clock, buddy. Roger, two, three. Check it. It's out. <laughs> it, it is exactly five o'clock. 1700 as we go. Two, three, last, last boat away. away. There it is. <laughs> I tell you, fish has been the last minute, boys. <laughs> Now let's go up here and get that fish bag cleaned up, get the fish in there, make sure there's no hooks and no fish. You know what I mean? He's going to take it to the scales. Last boat away, Mercury Powered Team Kingpin. They also had the Wounded Warrior from Operation Outdoor Freedom, Danny, on the boat today. Danny, how was it? It was awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That's what it's all about, man. We appreciate your service. Caught every fish in the bag. That's awesome. Yeah, buddy. Some the bait. So, here we go. Team Kingpin, first fish. 12.50, 12.50. All right. <laughs> Second fish goes 11.20, guys. Give it up for Mercury Power Team Kingpin, guys. Good job. Hey guys, Greg from Team Kingpin. Listen, I wanna, I wanna thank Jamie. Jamie came fishing with us, bait fishing on Thursday. Said he had a really good time. Of course, we had the Pro Tours tournament yesterday. We couldn't take him. He checked in yesterday and said, hey, man, did y'all win that pro tournament with my bait? I caught you, you know, kind of rubbed it in. I said, hey, why don't you just come use your own bait? So I got him to go fishing with us today. He caught his first kingfish, both of them. And I told me to make sure we weighed. We ran a long ways. You know, we made it back with the last boat away, right? So we, we were. it's been about him for me this whole weekend and my crew and Pete right here, brother. Billy, all of them. We made it about, guarding the fish. We make it about this guy right here, and I tell you, I, I'm really happy. I'm really thankful for your service. I want to do it again. Amen. Come on, man. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks.
had a good time. I had a blast. Best best fishing experience of my life. It's, it's not too often you get to uh, you get invited to go out with four professional fishermen in a in a tournament. You get to fish. I thought I'd just be standing there watching, but this guy put me under the hammer the whole time and <laughs> had me doing everything. So right. yeah, I had a blast. Wonderful time. Thanks to everybody at Meet Mayhem for uh, for inviting me and putting this on for us. Thanks.